A solemn day in East Islip, Long Island, as loved ones and colleagues pay their respects to fallen FDNY firefighter William Moon. Hannah Klieger is outside the wake, right now being held for him tonight, ahead of his funeral tomorrow. Hannah? Yeah, William Moon, known around here as Billy, was a beloved husband, father, and 21-year veteran of the FDNY. He also served for many years as a volunteer firefighter here in his hometown. So you can only imagine how many people he helped throughout his career. And mourners here tonight say that makes this loss so much harder. It's going to be hard. You know, there's no doubt about that. That's, you know, for anybody who has a loss, uh, but he was a special person. Loved ones and firefighters from across the city and Long Island are paying their respects to the man who selflessly helped others even after his death. Officials say Moon was critically injured during a drill in his Brooklyn firehouse on December 12th. Before his death, his family decided to donate his organs. Friends like Raymond Fifield, who's known him for more than 20 years, say they still can't fathom the loss. Didn't believe it at first. Um, first thing you think is not Billy. Billy's, you know, he's careful. You know, he's, uh, he loved the city fire department, loved out here in Islip. This is, uh, this is what he loved to do. This is what he was born to do. So uh, when you heard the news, it was shocking. The doleful day is marked with teary-eyed visitors who walked into this funeral home. Purple ribbon adorns the streets and poles, and a massive American flag proudly hangs from fire ladders along Montauk Highway. Moon's passion for firefighting started as a teenager. At 19 years old, he became a volunteer firefighter on Long Island. He then joined Ladder Company 133 in Queens, was training at Rescue Company 2 in Brooklyn before his death. That's the most elite group in the fire service, and, and many will... Many will argue the most elite rescue company in the world. Moon comes from a family of firefighters and leaves behind his wife, two children, parents, siblings, and his brothers and sisters at the department. Loved ones will go inside the funeral home again tonight for another wake starting at 7. Tomorrow morning will be Moon's funeral, which will be held at St. Patrick Roman Catholic Church in Bayshore. We're in East Islip. Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. Hannah, thank you. The funeral for Firefighter Moon begins at 11 tomorrow morning. We'll stream the service on CBS News, New York.